Hello, Dr. Kelly here, coming to you today talking about pulling things in from the web or any type of foreign device that Excel doesn't recognize. So, how do we do that? We're going to go into Get Data here on the Data menu. So, Get Data, it might be a little different depending on what version of Excel you might have, but we can get lots of different things. So, t CSV files, text files, PDFs, or Oracle, SAP databases, and my fun part getting it from the web so we're going to go get a couple of things from the web and merge the two pages and make a nice little graph here so let's go get our data from the web so first of all what i'm going to do is go look at the best states to retire in so i open that up i found that and what i'm going to do is going to go get the website there i'm going to copy that don't please don't try and type it and we're going to paste it right there in the url and hit OK. And what that does is hopefully if IT hasn't turned you off and shut you down, it'll go out there and get that. So we're going to go click on one of these tables and see which one we want. Table zero is the one we want. And what we're going to do is I'm going to merge that with the other one. So currently I'm not just going to bring it into Excel right now. I'm going to go into transforming it. So we're going to jump into Power Query for a second. Now I'm going to go get the other page because I don't want to graph something with these big, long state names. I'm going to go get the abbreviations to make my graph easier to read. So I'm going to come over here. So the new source is now over on the right-hand side when we're in Power Query. And we have the same thing. We're going to go get other sources and go get it from the web. And this one is our U.S. states on Wikipedia. So we're going to go grab that, copy that, and we'll paste that in there and hit OK. And here we can find out uh, which one we're going to use. So let's go get the codes. That's the one I want. So as I come through here, I can see the abbreviations right there, and that's what I want. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, so from here, I'm going to decide what I want. So let's look at this. So what I am looking at are over here on the left-hand side, what I have is our table zero that we brought in, the initial one, and our codes and abbreviations. So I can eat, come over here and change those if I want to. So the names of that are easily changed by just double clicking, just like the tabs on the bottom of Excel, and we can adjust that. So I'm gonna call this retire number one, cause I already have it in there. And this one I'm gonna call, double click, we'll call this one the um, ABBR, so for abbreviations. All right, so just like the tabs on the bottom of Excel, we can easily come in here and just click on those. And what I want to do is I want to keep the name and I want to keep the abbreviation. So I'm going to hold control as I click through here to so the name and the abbreviation. And in addition, I'm going to go ahead and click this one because this is going to help me identify a state versus we have some territories and islands down here in this list as well. So as I click the ones that I want, so this is a little tutorial about Power Query as well, we're going to remove the other columns, kind of a cool feature there. Then I'm going to use column three here as a filter. And I want to write, I'm going to right click the word I want, and I'm going to filter that it equals that guy. Then all my states show up. And I'm going to go ahead and now get rid of column number three. So I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to now merge the abbreviations with the state's names over here on retire. So to merge those two together, what we're gonna do is come over here to merge queries and we're gonna do it as new. And then this opens up, kind of like our VLOOKUP. So we pick on uh, the, ta the table that we want on the top and the table we wanna merge it with on the bottom. And that was abbreviation. 
Now all we have to do is click on the columns that we want to match up. And we see we have a 50-50 matching, so really good. We have 50 states. Good thing. And we hit OK. And what happens is we get a new table showing up. So we have our rank and our state. And on the tail end of this, we have the one that we merged. So we're going to open that up, the table that we put on the tail end of that. We're going to uncheck the prefix because we don't need A, B, O, B, R in front of all of these names. And what I want is I just need the, I should have renamed the columns. So I know what those are. I think this one is our abbreviation. And I hit OK. And yes, it is the abbreviation. All right. So I have that. And if I want to drag it, I can drag it over and put it next to the state name right there so it's there and now i don't need the state anymore so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one so remove columns so it's gone so now i'm done so to bring it back into excel i'm going to go ahead and close and load and what that does is it brings all the tables in that i made and here i'm on my merge sheet so now what i'm going to do is graph my rank versus my state name so i'm going to come over here to insert uh let's flip those around just in case let's grab total score instead because i want my x first so insert recommended charts so insert recommended charts and we're going to go grab the column chart and grab that so on the bottom here we do see all the abbreviations so they fit very nicely on the bottom let's close that and open this up a little bit more so they turn horizontal not vertical and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort my score so it's very much easier on the eyes so i'm going to put the big guy on the top so we have that and if i wanted to move the blue let's see let's move the blue one. Oh, can i move it to the right no let's go to how about quality of life a little bit better and hit Z to A, and there we go. Nice little trend there from top left to bottom right. So best practice uh, visual on our chart as well. So since we do read from top to bottom, left to right, we are gonna put our visuals in that order. So very easy on the eyes. So a lot of tutorials, Power Query, uh, visuals, and most importantly, how to get data from other places. So that it is on Get Data. And whatever type of file you like, we're going to go get it. So JSON files, PDFs, Azure, Hadoop, SharePoint, anything you like, and scrape in the web. All right. Good job. Well, this has been Dr. Kelly at your service. You guys have a great day.